Did you hit it? Rotate your phone, okay. I think we're live. Hi, Mount Airy. Let me check and make sure we are live. Uh, I'm not seeing us, but let me go out and try again to make sure. How's everybody doing today? Here we go. See if we're live. You think we are live? We have people logging in. Oh, we are live, but we're sideways. So burn it. Turn it the other way. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let me see if you got it the right way. Let's see. Okay, we're the right way. We got it. We got it. And to give you an idea, Barney, of what you're seeing there. So if you want to zoom in a little. You want to zoom in a little there? Poor meatball. You want to zoom in because you're getting too much of that? I just did. There, there you go. go. There you go. So maybe zoom out a little. Looking better. Meatball, don't fall asleep. So everybody say hello to Meatball. Meatball's falling asleep. You see it? I don't think Meatball's in the video. There's Meatball, who uh, has actually posted an ad on Mount Airy Yard Sale to be adopted out to somebody else. She's had enough of me and my shenanigans. So uh, Meatball, say hi. I want to welcome everybody today for the next book in our Mayor's Reader Series. I want to thank Mary and Larry for doing a fantastic job last week with the training as my guest readers. Uh, the book for this week is Where the Wild Things Are. I hope the parents had an opportunity to read the adult version or to listen to the adult version by Christopher Watkins. Uh, it was really cool. Also, uh, we found out in a trivia game from my friend Kim who lent me this book, which is actually a signed edition of the Where the Wild Things Are by Maurice Sadek. Apparently, this is President Obama's favorite book, or was his favorite childhood book. Wait a second, we're losing all the Republican citizens on that one? Nah, I'm just kidding. All right, well, here we go with Where the Wild Things Are. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind. Got the picture? Can you zoom in? And another. Got the pictures? Mm -hmm. His mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. He doesn't look very happy, does he, kids? That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. Can you get down here and meatball sleeping? A forest grew. And grew. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls became the world all around. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max. And he sailed off through the night and day. And in and out of weeks, and almost over a year, to where the wild things are. Ooh, everybody see Max? And when he came to the place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tame them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once, and they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. Uh, can you get me false snoring? And made him king of 
all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And it looks like Max is now a king and he has a crown, so let's switch out. There's just a picture of them doing their rumpus towards the moon. There's Max with his crown. Whoopsie. There's Max swinging from a tree with the other wild things. There's Max riding one of the wild things. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely, and he wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then, all around, from far away, across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being king of where the wild things are. But the wild things cried, Oh, please, don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, No. Here's Max. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. and sailed back over a year, and in and out of weeks, and through a day. And Meatball is still snoring. And into the night of his very own room, where he found his supper waiting for him. And it was still hot. Wow, what a cool book. This was actually my favorite book as a child. I want to thank you all for joining us today, and I want to thank Meatball for almost staying awake. It looks like he's awake now. And I would love to hear from you and what books you want to hear next week. Please let me know what you want to hear. What's your favorite book? Thank you for tuning in. Stay safe. We should be through this situation we're in very soon. And bye-bye, uh, Man Earth.